Welcome to Season 3 of Passages from the Heart. In today's episode, we get Sunflower out of her winter jammies and we scrub her top to bottom. I'm also going to introduce you to my new-to-me 2013 Compact 23. The hummingbirds are a hummin', the frogs are a croakin', which means the weather is nice and warm, and so it's time to get to work on the boat. Finally, we have a day of perfect weather. It's not too hot, it's not too cold, there's not much wind, there's not any insects out that are gonna bother me while I'm trying to work. So today I'm gonna get at it, finally. And here she is. She still has her tarp on. It didn't take me too long to take Sunny's winter jammies off. In total, it was nine minutes to cut the twine and then to take off the dock lines that I used to secure the top over the boat. Here's what I'm looking at for the bottom of the boat. This boat was bottom painted in 2021 by the dealer from whom we bought her. What I should have done last year when we took the boat out of the water is wash the bottom. Then when this was not all hard and dried, I'm thinking if I can wet it for a little bit and maybe that'll help soften. And I'm just going to kind of do a little bit at a time rather than doing the whole bottom of the hole. It looks like it's working. I use this brush and again you can see there's a little bit of the grime on there. Hopefully it's not too much of the bottom paint but you can tell that it is definitely coming off so I'm just going to lightly 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 scrub so I can get that crusty stuff off. Here's what we have after I've scrubbed. There's still some stuff left on the bottom of the boat. I have a feeling this is going to have to be sanded. Some of it came off like this is smooth in here but it is, it looks like there's still growth here, which it feels smooth, but I think that the only way to get rid of that is just gonna be to sand it. And you can see the keel, see how I got part of it done, but I couldn't reach into there, as well as up in between this bunk and the trailer or the keel guide. So that's gonna be tricky to get that. It's better than it was. So that's progress. We had a high of 85 today and it seems like it's a great day to get the boat washed up. I'll be using the Sea Safe Boat Wash and the deck brush that I had mentioned in a previous video, I think a couple of summers ago by Better Boat. I got my cloth and my bucket and my spray wand. I'm gonna use the deck brush first to do the uh, deck of the boat and then I'll use the cloth to do the sides of the boat. Hopefully my plan will work out as I anticipate. Before I actually started scrubbing the boat down with the deck brush, I did actually do a good and thorough rinsing off to make sure I could get off the road grime and any other debris that had collected on the deck and on the sides of the hull before I started scrubbing. The reason why I did this is because if you start scrubbing the boat without prior rinsing it down first, you're apt to create more scratches and nicks on the boat's finish. So just like with when I wash my cars, I like to do a good thorough rinse down prior to scrubbing. The washing process went really well. So now I have a nice clean boat that I'll be able to wax, polish, and buff without any issues. There she is after yesterday's bath, sitting pretty. There's a little bit of staining on the rudder. That's interesting because that's just from, you can see where the water line is. The rudder is not in the water. When we're in the slip, we, you know, pull it up with the system that it's installed, the hydraulic system, but there's still a little bit of staining on it. So I'll have to see about trying to get that off. You can see the teak needs to be desperately sanded, which that will be done after I get the boat polished. A brief word about the rudder craft rudder that's installed on my boat, Sunny. This particular rudder is not standard with the legacy when you order the boat. If you want this particular foiled rudder system made by Rudder Craft, it is a special order. Another item that isn't standard is the mid-hull rub strake that you see here on Sunny's hull. This is also a special order item. Another one of Sunny's features is the midship folding cleats. These do not come standard on the Legacy and are considered extra. I do highly recommend having them put on your boat. They are very helpful when you need to tie off fenders for docking. They're also helpful if you need to attach a spring line. If you watched my channel last year, you might remember that I bought a new to me 1990 Compact 23D. The D stands for diesel. I spent the majority of last summer sanding and painting the bottom of the boat, washing, waxing, polishing, buffing the hull, and working on the teak, as well as organizing the boat inside and out. 
What I learned from my experience is that this boat was really more boat than I needed. I primarily day sail and this boat has a lot of systems on board outfitting her for coastal cruising. Because I spent so much time working on the boat throughout the summer, I never ended up splashing the boat and taking her for a sail. As a result, I decided it would be best to find a new captain for Nomas to share future adventures with and I decided to look for another Compact 23 that had less systems, that was more kind of like a big sunny, and guess what? I found a boat. Sailing Vessel Charm, as I'm going to call her, is a 2013 Compact 23. She is a standard Compact 23, exactly as I would have ordered her had I ordered her brand new from Compact Directly itself. I love the fact that Charm will only have through hulls that are absolutely necessary, for example, her scuppers, and also to get rid of the bilge water. Unlike my former Compact 23D Nomas, Charm does not have a sophisticated galley system. Charm does have a rudimentary sink that drains directly into the bilge, and she has a slide-out compartment where you can install a stove. Charm is outfitted with a 2013 Tohatsu 6 horsepower outboard engine. Of course, it goes without saying that Charm also comes equipped with a 2013 trailer. I'm expecting to take delivery of Charm sometime in early June. So, stay tuned for additional pictures and video, as well as splashing the boat and then going for a sale. Ooh.